Greetings, friends and esteemed adventurers. Welcome back to, I think this is part four now, of uh, Demigod Conjurer. In the last episode, we are going to enchant our robe. We'll actually do that again. Uh, in, yeah, in the last episode, um, we did layer one through five. We're now going to move on to layer six, which I'm really worried about. Um, because we have no arb poise. Alright, we're not going to do the volcano because we don't have any RF either. Um, and that our damage output just isn't enough for me to feel comfortable doing that without any RF. So, um, yeah, layer 6 is going to be a heck of a challenge. Um, no R poise. Haven't found any other books yet. Okay, that, yeah, I was going to say that's getting dangerous. Um, let's go ahead and shoot him back if we can. That didn't work. But we can blind him. Then we're going to go ahead and X off that stair. A lot of times, like, if this was all wolves, I wouldn't mind going back down. But I could go back down and get knocked off by the elephant and then uh, be in a, just a world of hurt. So there are two more stairs. We'll try them out first. This one's pretty bad, too. Holy crap. <laughs> um... I'm really worried about getting knocked off the stairs. Do we have any magic maps? Yeah, we have two. Because what I'm worried about here is if I try to kill this one and this one wakes up, then all of a sudden he could knock me off the stairs and wake everything else up and I'd be in so much trouble. Yeah, let's go back up. Okay, yeah, they woke up. So, I already don't like this. Okay, this is better. We can handle a Hydra. It's funny that I say a Hydra is better. Uh, for now, we're just going to walk away from the Hydra. We actually have a stair that we can kind of utilize. Had a blapus. Okay, no stab. What's his hit dice? I think it's fairly low. Yeah, 14. So it's not low, low, but it's not super high either. So we should be able to get a dazzling spray. Yeah, that works. And we're still training our uh, stealth to, you know, ba <gasps> a book. Oh my gosh, we found a book. I'm so excited right now. It's going to be terrible, but I'm so excited. All right, we really should find a way to deal with these elephants uh, without having to go back to the stairs. Because that's if we have to go back to the stairs, we're going to wake up that Hydra, and then we're going to have to deal with the Hydra. Okay, that book can be almost anything, and I'll find a way to find some use out of it. This is the first book we've found all game. Maledictions, I think that's probably the one book I didn't want, but we're going to find out. I lied, this is the Hexer book. This is the one we want. Sweet! Okay, yeah, we're basically going stabber. Uh, let's get confused, and let's get two commas. And how much? We're taking stealth to 11. Okay, then we can uh, focus on some hexes. 
but yeah, we'll be able to confuse most anything uh, for quite a long time, and that, that's going to get us through a, a huge chunk of the next portion of the game. Um, we just can confuse stab things. We'll take hexes to like eight. Okay, I guess we'll just IMB and kill him. Okay, so the Hydra's woken up. 24% chance to confuse. We can also try to blind him. Um, I actually do want to try to kill him. Go away. Um, do we have an acid? Yeah, we have 36 charges. Okay, so we'll just finish off the Hydra with acid. Cool. Yeah, because I, I think that was worth really working through because, again, a lot, two of our stairs are still pretty well unsafe. So, anyway, we're going stabber until we find another book. Uh, at which point we'll see if we can't find a way to branch out of stabbing uh, into something else because stabbing is going to fall off in uh, usability a little bit later on in the game. Like you can win a total pure stabber. I've done it. I've done it with a vampire, um, but it ends up being definitely a challenge. So we'll we'll just leverage whatever we find. But stabbing is a we can basically play an enchanter for the next quite a bit. So. I'm so glad we found that. I was so worried about layer 6, but that makes layer 6 quite a bit less stressful. Let's try to blow up some yaks. Bang. Nice. We should be able to confuse the Mamba. Yeah. Okay. And then while the Mamba's confused, we'll just take the axe away. Cool. Yep, we already killed this Hydra, so we we can come down here safely. Cool. Well, so we're good for the next while, as long as I don't do anything dumb. Which, I mean, is definitely a big if, but our defenses are feeling relatively solid. We have 113 HP, 10 AC, which is pretty mediocre, but um, 20 EV. So we'll be able to dodge a fair amount. And we now have our hexes to uh, play with. This is where things get rough. Oh, this is where things get really rough because we're slowed by that torpor snail. Um, do we have haste? Yep. How many teleports do we have? Eight. We're going to read one. Okay, that's way worse. We have digging, right? Yeah. Okay, let's, uh, let's dig out here. Oh my gosh. Nice. Okay. That torpor snail was just going to make everything suck. I'm I'm learning to like fulminant. I I think a lot of people hate fulminant, but I'm kind of digging the, like, you just place it and, you know, find a good spot for it and let it do the work. Well, I'm enjoying that. All right. Come here, snail. You, wait, I can't, oh, okay, I can't confuse you. That's fine. 
it's just not working. Okay. So we need to get this stuff away from the snail. We'll take the death yak up. Can we confuse him? No. Can't usually confuse death yaks. They have very high MR. We are in trouble. How hard? He can hit me 30, right? Yeah. Alright, well, in that case, let's just walk into the teleport trap. Okay. What do we have that can just kill him? Fulminant or IMB? Yeah, cool. Okay. This vault is going to be super annoying to kill. Okay, well, we got rid of some of it. Um, okay. Crap! I was going to say, if we try to bring them up, we're going to end up bringing them both. And uh, the, we can't run from the spiny frog and the death yak if we miss a bunch of uh, dazzling sprays, which I know we will. Um, then it's just going to be a huge nightmare to deal with. Um, let's see. There we go. Try to kill the spiny frog. We've done it. Yes! Okay. Let's think for a second. I guess we could get some shields. Let's take shields just to, like, bore for now. I think we need 15 to, yeah, to kill the penalty on that, but we may be able to mitigate it enough that it's usable. Okay, so now we can deal with the snail by itself. Instead of having a very fast spiny frog uh, with a torpor snail that's slowing us. There we go. Nice. Ooh. I would greatly prefer not to deal with a Hydra. There we go. Okay, so five headed Hydra. 34% on the confuse now. That's probably good enough. Yep. There we go. We're rewarded with a ring, a magic map. I think that was an amulet, right? Yeah. Unfortunately, no ID or no identifies, so that's okay. We'll just put on this ring. Our corrode. Okay, that's good. Um, we don't. I think we're basically done. There, I guess there could be some stuff in there that we might want. And now that we have our stabbing toolkit, we can deal with things. We don't have any RF to deal with that lindworm. Oh, we can blind him. Okay. Um, yeah, this is, it's training really fast. So we'll take shields to like eight and just see what happens. I probably shouldn't do this because we're not getting any immediate benefit out of it. But I don't, there isn't anything else that I'm like really in desperate desire to train. I guess we could always go like more hexes and make make it even easier to confuse things. But let's go to orc. Oh, there's Fenar. Can we confuse him? Um, that's in the way. Not a great chance. How about a blind? Yeah, HD10. He should be blinded. There we go. Do that again. Come on. Please, yes. Done. Nice. We will take your potion of berserk rage. Oh, what? Oh, 
We don't have room for it. Okay. Um, we'll drop our dagger of holy wrath. Okay. Oh wow! What a welcome party. Okay, so we have some things that are going to help us. We have two commands which we can use on the ogres and the orc warriors to mitigate their damage output. Okay, we can handle this. It's going to be a huge pain in the ass, but we can do it. Okay, we also have acid. But for now, let's take some weapons. There's a ghost. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, well. This is getting so much worse. I'm tempted to quaff Agi and try to fight as much of this as I can. Otherwise, we're going to be basically locked out of our orc mines for a while. Uh, there's an ogre mage? Seriously? Oh, that thing could fuck me up. I guess all we would have otherwise is the rest of the dungeon. We'd be missing out on quite a bit of experience. Don't really have quaffs. I love this is where I would love like a scroll of summoning. Um Well, we can always go back up. So let's let's quaff agility. Throw yeah, throw some uh, dazzling sprays out. Try to basically confuse things. We'll uh, take that orc warrior's weapon. We'll take the two-headed ogre's weapons. Okay, we're out of mana now. Probably kill one two-headed ogre. We have to go back up. Okay, we might be dead anyway. Um, can I fight my way out of this, or am I teleporting? We're going to teleport. Okay. So we took out some of it. We, we made it a lot safer. It, it did take a teleport and an agi, which is unfortunate, but sometimes that's just how the cookie crumbles. So it looks like we can throw out some confuses in there. And that's going to work out for us. Whoa, I didn't know we had revocable flight. Okay, holy mackerel. Uh, we're almost definitely dead. Yeah, we need to blink. And then we need to reset as much of that as we can. Luckily, we have the stealth to do it. Okay. Josephine, man. Decent Actually, what's her hit dice? We can probably blind her. Yeah, we can, for sure. Boom. Nice. Okay. Okay. 
Reaper's a knight, so we'll go ahead and uh, Tukuma's take his weapon, get the weapon to fight for us. And let's try this shield now. Okay, so we're pretty well castable with this shield at this point. We'll keep we'll keep training that. Um it's still quite dangerous. Uh if we're gonna do this, let's go ahead and quaff an Agi uh, our last Agi. Agi's not oh my gosh. Okay, we can we can get out of this. Like that. Cool. So we'll get some weapons to fight for us. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Uh, you're a deep elf fire elementalist that can absolutely ruin my day. I forgot about that guy. We have no RF. Um, how about a confuse? Will that work? Actually, not a bad chance. That's how we're going to kill him. If we can ever land one. But for now, we really kind of need to reset this. Okay. I'm electrocuted. How am I getting electrocuted? Oh, gosh. Problem is the warg is just gonna chase me forever. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Teleport, get out of line of sight. There we go. Man, feels bad, man. Alright, we really need to find a way to deal with that ghost. Confused. Yay! And his health is really low, so we can electrocute him. Ha! Ah! Feels good. And I think we've pretty well taken care of our orc welcome party. Right? Yeah. It's not perfect, but it's it's a lot better. Because we can kill orcs. And we can kill ogres. Alright. That was pretty scary. Uh, something went invisible, and I think it's an ogre mage. Which is potentially problematic. <laughs> That's what I'm going to go with. We can deal with it, but it's potentially problematic. Mm. What do we want to drop? Polymorph? Eh, we can drop our Conjurations book. We've memorized everything out of it. Okay, there's still an Ogre Mage. Can we confuse an Ogre Mage? Unlikely. Fairly, it's, I mean, relatively likely that we can blind him. Let's see. Okay, yeah, HD 10, so pretty good chance that we'll get a blind. I say as we get owned. Okay, well, the Ogre Mage is dead. That's good. We still have a ghost, which is bad. But let's see, what do we have? Uh, Spriggan Enchanter. Okay, so basically we'll never hit him. Immune to everything. But should be able to just kill him with our spells, right? Because his health is really low. Okay. Um, I don't have any mana. Let's just go back up. And we'll take these orcs up. Okay, do we have any other big damage? Nah, we'll just 
hit him with some IMB. They all friggin' miss. <laughs> um, do we have a better plan? I guess acid. Is it immune to corrosion? Nope. So that ought to work. Four, five, okay, none of those really worked. Man. What about Force Lance? Nope, that's not doing anything. Let's just try to kill him. Poke, got him. Okay. That was an annoying fight. But hopefully we made enough noise that we basically woke everything up and it's all we can just kill everything now. Okay, orc one is done. And actually, was that a, a full orc one? Yeah, three downstairs, okay. Because a lot of times you get like the split up work one, which is fine. We can just use our IMB nuke to get through these orcs. Now, that orc has a battle axe of freezing, and that's going to hurt a lot. So we'll go ahead and confuse him. for our stabs. There's our elf entrance. Good chance we'll end up doing elf at some point. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and buy magic and haste. Yeah, just those for now. We may come back because some of those are pretty useful. Um, but I want to see what else. If there's a bookshop or something, I'd, I'd rather uh, use our gold in there gold is definitely it's 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 a resource just like any other consumable and so you don't want to uh oh we're being drained what flickered and vanished i gotta think this is an orc wizard which means we should be able to confuse it yeah it is okay but it's got a dagger of draining or something of draining. So I don't have any interest in sitting there trying to poke something that's just constantly draining me. Anyway, gold's a resource. Definitely use it to, you know, for anything that you might want um, or that might be useful. But since we are in Orc 2 and we are guaranteed a certain number of shops, I think it's totally worth holding off on a potion shop uh, in case you find other shops that might be a little bit more useful. Oh gosh, that was... This is getting bad. Can you paralyze me? 9%. That's basically 9% that I die, so that's pretty scary. And now we're being drained. Crap. Okay, so we'll go ahead and confuse the sorcerer, or we won't. Seriously? Okay. Hopefully we don't take too many drains. I think that was our wizard with the draining dagger, right? Yeah. Cool. So now we won't be drained anymore. Uh, there's another wizard wielding a lek, which is fine. We can deal with that. We'll just go ahead and take it, make it fight him. Okay, and then there's two Orc Knights coming for us. That that could be quite a bit of incoming damage. Because they're going to battle cry each other. And then our life is going to get less fun. Okay, can we... Yeah, we have a really good chance at getting his weapon. Okay, we've got it. So we'll let him calm down. We'll 
get some confusion stabs. An orange demon? Where did you come from? Something summoned you. We miscasted. Confuse. Okay, let's go back up. We'll just eat. Still training our shield. Ooh, mistakes were made. Please don't paralyze me. Now you can paralyze me. Now I don't care, because you're not going to be able to kill me by yourself. Um, let's just keep going, shields. Because every rank gets us a little bit more defense. Um, and a little bit lower spell failure due to our shield penalty. Uh, that's an orc warlord. Can we take his weapon? High probability, but let's... There we go. Okay, so we have some weapons working for us. Can we confuse him? 34, that's good enough. The nice thing about confuse is you only need it to land once, so you basically just keep trying until it works. Knock him back if we can. Yeah, that's working. Can we confuse him now? Force Lance. Yay! Okay, we'll go back up. Actually, oh, damn it. Let's do this. Okay. So it miscasted, and we're confused now. Do we have curing? Yeah, we may need to use it. There we go. So we'll just go up here and we'll go down a different one. Kind of reset that fight. Once we get him at max range, we'll be able to kill him with a Confuse. Ooh, a High Priest. That's why High Priests are difficult, because they summon lots of BS. Excuse me. But once we kill him, the Rust Devil dies, and then we're fine. Okay, so there's our Orc Warlord friend. We've got him confused. We've got them both confused. So let's go ahead and just try to kill him. Not quite, but we're pretty close. Come on, there we go, and you're done. Nice. Take that experience all day. Go ahead and blind a bunch of orcs. They're all pretty low hit dice. Quite easy to blind. We'll uh, take the warrior's halberd. Take the knight's uh, war axe. And we'll confuse him too, just for good measure. Can you tell that I like hexers? <laughs> they're just they're just fun. You, you get a lot of really nice tools to work with. Okay, we got a weapon shop. I mean, an ancient arbalist, that could be really good. Is that, but wait a second, are arbalists two handed? Yeah, never mind, it's two handed. Um, ooh, a wizard robe, nice, okay. Check out the, the leather armor just because. So let's try on the leather armor. Ooh, leather armor of fire resistance, okay. So we'll go ahead and uh, we're gonna drop our robe of positive energy. I just don't see us using that. We get some more defense out of the leather, so we'll use that. We'll go ahead and buy uh, the IDs. Sack of spiders, actually, I think is probably pretty good to buy as well. 
And we'll go ahead and use these IDs right away. Um, oh man, that's really good, but not yet. That's really good when stuff starts doing ranged. Let's ID the wizard robe. Oh boy, uh, that's pretty ballin'. Our elect is pretty rare. Slay plus three is gonna help our stabs. Int plus four is gonna help everything. So we're gonna use that. We'll keep uh, the other, the leather armor and the robe of magic resistance, just because uh, those are useful to have in certain parts of the game. But and here's our bookshop. How did I know? Okay, so now we have lots, lots and lots and lots of stuff to consider. Um, a book of the dragon that has dragon form, dragon's call. Neither of which we're ever going to cast this game. A uh, bolt of fire would be really good. That would be just a a straight damage, which would be nice. So that's an idea. The tome of calling. I don't care about anything in there. Uh, the party tricks invisibility is incredible. And then we could really embrace the stab. <laughs> so I guess we'll put that on our list. How about the Book of Flames? I think that's got Fireball. Yeah. So we'll be able to cast everything there. Fireball does pretty good AoE, but I guess if we're going to use that, I'd almost rather use um, IMB. Book of Enchantments. The only thing I really, really want in there is D-Missile. So is D-Missile worth 750 gold? Probably not, but we'll put it on the list just in case. Uh, Book of Minor Magic, that is the Wizard Start Book. That's got Blink as well as Mephitic. I actually will probably end up buying this. Because, well, actually Mephitic, just like Dazzling Spray, it works on hit dice and poison resistance, and it's going to lose its validity pretty quickly. But it is really cheap, so we'll probably buy that. Uh, the Book of Unlife. Animate Dead and Borgnors. Those are both really good. We could go some kind of Necro. Like a Necromantic Stabber. That'd be cool. Actually, I'm thinking I'm probably going to do that. Uh, I don't care about the Book of Changes. Debilitation. That's the what Arcane Marksman starting book. I don't care about that. Uh, the Book of Burglary. Has Passwall, Pog, and Invis. Okay, so that's incredible. That has a whole load of escapes. But what I really need is damage. So we'll put that on the list as well. But I'm going to go ahead and buy the Book of Unlife. Because that's going to give us Borgnors and Animate Dead. And we can kind of transition into Necromancy. Because uh, that's a pretty good transition for a stabber. Uh, you can start to use your corpses. We have 189 gold left. We'll, put, we'll just put the Book of Minor Magic on the list. And then we'll go blow the rest of our gold. Is there anything that we want to blow it on? Nothing in there. I mean, maybe a magic map wouldn't hurt, but I'd rather keep that for Zot. Magic map doesn't have any immediate use. So let's go to this shop. And we'll buy... Mute and leg. Okay. We need to make a little bit of room because that's my life. We'll drop flight. We can always come back and get it if we need flight. But we've done it. Lair 6 is done. Orc 1 and 2 are done. Um, we have access to a few more spells. We're going to need er, to start training some necromancy. Um, in fact, we probably need to train some spell casting as well because we don't have any spell levels. We could probably. Do we have amnesia? Yeah. We could amnesia off dazzling because that's not going to get a whole lot more use um, here soon. And anything, basically anything that would be susceptible to Dazzling Spray is also going to be susceptible to Confuse, except for those Death Yaks. Um, I 
can't decide. The other one, even though I really like it, is Fulminant Prism. Um, we're gonna have plenty of damage. Yeah, let's let's get rid of Fulminant because we have other sources of damage. Cool. Yeah, we have other sources of, of damage, and Board New York almost does the same thing, but better. It does more damage. It holds things in place. Um, so let's memorize. It's between Animate Dead and Board New York. Animate Dead is a lot closer. So we'll just go ahead and do that. We'll stop training our shields. We'll start training our necromancy, and we're going to call episode four a day. Thanks for watching.